Just you like Great Danes. They have huge paws. Great yeah. Danes are kind of like... I, Hot. Great Danes. Yeah, I like. I it's like giving Adam with, Driver. I, if I had a Great Dane, like I wouldn't obviously sexually abuse it, but I would feel horny. Yeah. If Star was in a room. With- if you if you don't know what a Great Dane is, that's that's one of them, that's a dog. That's a dog. Now this this woman said. If she had a great dame, she wouldn't sexually abuse it, but she'll feel horny. (laughs) She wouldn't sexually abuse it, but she'll feel horny. Dane, an alligator, and a kangaroo, her life would I, I would oh feel, God. I wouldn't feel horny, but I would feel sexual, I would feel like awkward being naked in front of the degree. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, it, I'd be like, you know, I'm peeing. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I'd be like, the way they're, they're just so big. Wait, but maybe instead of a boyfriend, I should get a great Dane and just be like, you're my boyfriend. That would be fucking wild if you got a great Dane. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be extra, but that troubles me. I'm not a dog person, but that troubles me. That troubles me, that you having sexual fantasies about your dog. Wait. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, yo, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, folks. Hold on, 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 hold on. It, 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 it happened too fast. I'm sorry, it happened too fast. Cause I could have sworn she was digging her heart behind, and then she went right to tossing the salad. <laughs> I got a hiccup. That shit gave me a hiccup. Okay. Oh, baby. Nah. Cause me and my wife been together for a very long time. We've been together since we was in high school, you know. Been separated a few times, but we we've been together a very long time, and if she make my salad and decide she wanna add some extra ingredients before she toss the salad, yeah, I'm gonna tell her about herself. I might throw it on the floor or I might throw it at her face. You know what I'm saying? Now I know what some of y'all are thinking, and we're not gonna go there. Because we're on YouTube. Um, and it's a time and a place for everything. Okay? When I feel like eating food, I don't want to taste your ass. 
I know where you was going with it. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. That's right up there with, with when dudes see a fine chick and say, damn, I'll drink her bath water. You nasty. And I hope you get sick. I hope you catch SARS. You gonna drink her bath water. That's disgusting. Guys, I saw a tweet that said, every girl knows a guy who would do anything for her and he's not her boyfriend. Is that true? This is very true. I don't care who she is. Every female has a dude out there that's willing to do whatever she needs him to do because he wants to replace her current boyfriend. This is a fact. These dudes make it harder for you as her man. Their job is to make it harder for you as her man because they're doing everything in their power to look like the better option. Most times she will meet these guys at work. Depending on if y'all go to different colleges, she might meet them at her college, at her school. But these guys are out there. <laughs> I give him a name, but I can't say the name on YouTube. So, yeah. That is true. Every girl has a guy that she knows will do anything for her, and he's not her boyfriend. That is 100% facts. Facts. And look, there's no age limit on it, neither. They could be in their 70s. You feel what I'm saying? It's a dude... It's, it's, a, it's a motherfucker out here... That's seventy something, eighty something. He 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 will come over there and goddamn mow the lawn for your grandmother. You feel me? He he's sitting around. He can't look. He doing everything in his power to make sure your grandfather pass first, so he could have a few months in that pussy before he pass. I'm telling y'all, they out here, man. It don't matter what age they are. They out here. Lurking, creeping, trying to make you look bad. <clears throat> would you set out your dress for yourself, or is it because of the attention that men give you? I would say I dress for myself because I feel good, because I know a man isn't going to want to wife somebody that's dressed like, you know. If I had a husband, I would dress for him, but I'm single. At the end of the day, if I had somebody, I would respect them and I wouldn't go crazy. You'll dress differently depending on if you're in a relationship as opposed to being single. Of course, yes. I'm not going to show my f***ing titties if I have a man because at the end of the night, he would suck my titties. Somebody is going to f***ing take the bait and then then they'll be hidden forever. I mean... But until then, it's okay for me to see your nipples and your titties. I mean, you can't see my nipples. But I can, though. No, you cannot. I can see her nipples too. Yeah. I'm not mad at her. I'm not upset at her. At least she's being honest. You know what I'm saying? Um, and sometimes us as men need to be honest too. You not going to be physically attracted to a woman, especially if you don't know her like that. If she's not giving you something to be physically attracted to. Now, in some situations, it might be her face because it's very, very attractive women out here in the face. But also, she might have other assets, you know what I'm saying? Her job is to sexually tease you, she, to bait you, to reel you in so you can know her and who she is as a person. And then you decide, okay, you know what? I'm physically attracted to you, and now mentally we here, we connect. And she's right. So, And she, she, she said that after she reel you in and y'all make it official, they're going to be hidden forever because they're going to be yours now. So, I don't disagree with her. Do what you do, sis. Of course, there'll be people out here that's going to put her in that category. Oh, she's a 304. Technically, she's not. She knows what she's doing. She out here trying to... She's out here hunting. Okay? She's hunting. Michael, would you wife me up? That depends. Few factors. Yeah. Physical, get to know ya. A little bit. So is that a yes or no? We'll give you a yes. Yeah. Right, what do you rate me out of 10? It's solid 11 today, yeah. Today 11? 11? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you? I don't. 
You do have a girlfriend? Oh, I don't think she'd be so happy about you wanting to wave me. Oh. Hey, don't worry about it, man. <laughs> hey, man. Stop boosting these these women's egos while making your girlfriend look bad. Okay? Him saying he had a girlfriend that boosted her ego all the way. Like, yeah, if I wanted, I could take you from her. Stop giving people the, the ability to say that. Stop giving women the ability to say that they can take you from your current woman. Vice versa, women, stop giving men the, the even the slight notion that he can take you from your man. Because a lot of times all these dudes need is an inch and they taking a yard. So please, if you're in a relationship, be respectful to that relationship. Yeah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is today's video. Um, I left my gram up there. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Send me a message. Send me some links so I could find more of these videos to react to. And as always, I appreciate your support. Squad.